Good morning, my kindergartners. It's Miss Lessard. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Let's check out our crazy May calendar. We love this. Ooh, we have a birthday coming up, by the way. Oh, it's coming up. You know who you are. I'm not going to say. All right. So, let's just go through the last row. We have, we started with gold, pink, Yellow, pink and purple, red rose. What do you think this is? I'll give you a hint. If yesterday was 26, a two and a six, today is. I hope you said red tulip, 27, two and a seven. Check it out. We're almost done May. Boy, May went by fast. Wow. I don't know how that happened. All right. Today would have been music. So if you're missing music, Friday, Mr. Bishop does a live music lesson every Friday on Facebook. Or you can go on the internet and look up a song. Ask mom and dad to YouTube one of your favorite songs and sing it. Maybe a Jack Hartman song. Uh, maybe a song you learned in music class. Just if you can remember some of the words, tell mom and dad and they can look it up for you. Let's see what the question of the day is. If you were invisible for a day, what would you do? Mm -hmm. I think. If I were invisible for a day, I'd want to see what my kids were up to. And I'd go sneak in their room and I'd just watch. And I'd be super quiet. That would be so much fun. Just like on Harry Potter, I think he had an invisible cloak and he was able to go do that. And it was super cool. Uh, that's definitely something I'd want to do. Let's go here and see what my kids were doing when I'm not with them. Uh, that'd be fun. What would you want to do? All right. Um, I have a book called Pigsty. I love this book. It's by Mark Teague. He's the author and illustrator, which means he wrote the words and drew the pictures. And in here, there's lots of goods. You can see bananas. You can see a book. You can see a door. All things that you can buy are in here, and those would be goods. Maybe they're services. We'll find out. This is such a good story. You're going to love it. Oh, look at all the stuff you can buy there. A basketball. It looks like a robot. Toy. Monday afternoon, Wendell Fultz's mother told him to clean his room. It's turning into a pigsty, she said. Any reader connections? Any of you have messy rooms? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Wendell went upstairs, and much to his surprise, there was a large pig sitting on his bed. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet, but the pig didn't seem to mind the mess. And Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either. He decided to take a break. Look at the pig, he's eating potato chips. And the book he's reading says strange stories. <laughs> when Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. And she threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said, if you want to live in a pigsty, that's up to you. Oh, I think we've all heard that before. Wendell could hardly believe his luck. Now I can live however I want. He didn't even worry when he came home on Tuesday and found a second pig in his room. The mess had grown a bit worse, but he was able to jam most of it under his bed. Pigs are all right, he said, as long as it's only one or two. And now he has two pigs in his room and a bigger mess. In fact, they had a wonderful time. They played Monopoly until late each night, and they left the pieces lying all over the floor. I think they're making more of a mess. They had paper airplane wars and pillow fights, and the bed became a trampoline. Oh, what a nightmare. Ooh. Then two more pigs showed up, and the mess just grew and grew. Uh-oh. He's up to four pigs. Look, one, two, three, four. Two and two make four. That night when Wendell went to bed, the pigs were lying everywhere. They rolled up in his blankets and hogged his pillows, too. Wendell told himself he didn't mind. And then he found footprints on his comic books. Look, they stepped all over it and made a mess. And he can't sleep. He's like, they're taking all the bed. Friday, when he got home from school, he saw that someone had been sitting on his basketball and his baseball cards were all chewed. Oh, no. I think the pigs are bigger pigs than him. That does it, said Wendell. I've had enough. He ran downstairs to tell his mother. Sorry, she said, but your room is your responsibility. And she handed him a broom. She's not feeling bad for him. Wendell started to complain. The mess was too huge. 
But suddenly he remembered a saying he heard that many hooves make light work. So he marched upstairs and he organized a cleaning crew. Cleaning. Dun, 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 dun. He, they swept and scoured and polished and scrubbed. And later that afternoon, Wendy inspected his room and pronounced it clean. <laughs> Put those piggies to work. In fact, it was a bit too clean from a pig's point of view. So when Wendell inspected, the pigs prepared to go home. One of them made a phone call and a farm truck came to pick them up. He hugged and grunted and oinked, good boy. From that day on, Wendell kept his room clean. Oh, look, he's hugging his pig friends. <laughs> Except for those nights when his friends came by to play Monopoly. <laughs> the end. This is the dedication page at the end. Oh, my goodness. Clap if you like that book. I love that book. All right, that's a lesson learned, right? Keep your room clean. And that's hard to do for everyone, even a grown-up. Just pick up all your things and put it where they belong. Okay, my friends, uh, we're going to do some fun math today. You're going to get to count some money, okay? And put all the same coins together before you count them because every coin's worth a different amount. When you count the pennies, it's only one each. And nickels, it's five each. So your, your grown-up or big person will help you with that. Enjoy your reading lesson. I'll attach the workout Wednesday for you. So if you want to exercise with Mrs. Ross, that's going to be on there as well. Have a fantastic day. I miss you guys. Mwah.